In the land of us is a kingdom, at a time of mysteries and magic, the destiny of the great kingdom rests on the shoulders of a young girl, a name Nsaloku. That is making me to change color. Young girl, you turn when elders are talking to you. Who are you? Because the person I was talking to is not you. Are you a spirit? Oh, Afoma! Afoma! So it is you! So you are one of those evil girls in this in this kingdom. Answer me. You won't talk again, eh? You won't talk. Okay. I will run to the village and tell them what happened. And what made you think you'll be alive to tell the story? And from I know you are not the one talking. I know you are not the one talking. In fact, I know what to do. Who am I? I think there are so many things I do not know about myself. Who can I meet to tell me? Who? You are the favored one. The destiny of your kingdom lies in your hands. Afoma, what are you doing in my father's compound? Am I not talking to you? Wait, I thought I saw you at the farm road. How come you got to my father's compound before me? Hmm. Afoma, you have started with this your um, evil life again. Okay, since you don't want to talk, please leave my father's compound. I said leave my father's compound. Okay, you don't want to leave Abby. Wait for me. She thinks she can know it all. But I will make her know that evil can never proceed in this sacred land of Ozizar Kingdom. The evil man that feels he can become the king cannot stop my mission. I have been talking to you and you act like no one is talking, right? Eh? Let this be the last time you use my face to do your evil works. I mean, the moment Ezra's daughter confronted me, I knew you were the one. I mean, how can you go to her father's compound with my face? Why? 
Don't you try to walk out of here. You evil child. Do not start what you cannot finish, girl. And what could that be? Are you going to kill me? No. Because we have so many things to do in this kingdom. Then stay off me if you don't want the villagers to know what you are up to. Evil child. I'm not done talking. Don't ever walk out on me again. Else I will. You will do what? Show me. No. Show you my real color. What are you doing to me? Oh. Now I see you mean good to me. <laughs> Do you know I can kill you now? Oh yes! Because I am far bigger than you! You talk too much. I made you big. And I can still make you smaller than you think. You would not try such. What is the meaning of this? Eh? What is the meaning of this? I was looking at you from down before. Now I am looking at you from up. I want to be myself. Let me be myself. Else I will go and report you to the villagers. Okay. Then let's see if you will see the next push part. And someone will just knock you down alone. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, please forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm off. Just go on. If you leave me like this, how can you be using my face again? Just make me be myself. No need. Could this be a dream or a mystery? Wait. Can someone be big and small than her normal self? And she made me big and small. I refuse to make me normal. Could that be a dream or a real? The dream can be real, you know. There you lie. Because I can never allow you to do such thing to me again. We don't have time to exchange words. We have somewhere to go. I don't understand. Me and you. Or what? You will know at the right time. Don't come close to me until you tell me where we are going to. I don't have one this time.
am I doing here? You are the chosen one, remember? You have a task ahead of you, and it's my duty to protect you. I know all that. The Great One, do you have to come this far to protect me? But this was not where I slept last night. You know what to do if you need my help. Yes, I know. Thank you so much. Greetings, my sisters from other parents. Greetings, my princess. Greetings to you, my princess. Greetings, princess of Azizah Kingdom. You're welcome. We are getting you ready to come to your place. And here you are. Oh, and we are even preparing yam for you. That's, 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 that is nice. Okay then, I'm right on time, I guess. You're yeah, welcome, my princess. Let me guess it for you. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. My turn. <laughs> hey girls, I have to be with you. My father will be worried about me. Oh, my princess, we just came. If the king was worried, he would have sent the other to fetch me for I think Choma is right. Please stay in this room. Okay? Yeah, I know, but don't worry, Paul. I promise to stay longer when it's like home, okay? Just as I told my father that I would be back in the It's alright. But, promise to come back to this Promise. I promise. Yes.
am glad you are okay now. Why have you not started using your powers? Great one, I don't know how it happened. They were all over me. Who are those people? Human without heads. Those things are not human. They are evil powers sent to stop your movement to the kingdom of Oziza. But why? What did the kingdom do to them? Have some rest. You must be ready for the time is here. You have a power given to you from the keepers of the first generation. And you must be prepared for you will meet many of these on your way. But I am not getting close to that kingdom. Great one. How long will it take me to get there? Okoro, what are you still doing staring at the princess whom as far as I'm concerned has reached the palace? Get up for my daughter's sake. Where's the princess? You mean to tell me you didn't see the princess walk straight through us with her entourage? You are besotted, my friend. Perhaps wrestling with you will help saddle you up. Come on, let's go. She passed here now. Let's go. Okoro, your constant loss in thought is becoming a problem to me. Huh? What is all this? You are merely a shade of your former self. What is troubling you? A problem shared is one half solved. You will tell me what the problem is and we will settle this. Nduka. The thought of Princess Adobe is gradually killing me. I mean, I'm, I'm gradually turning to a madman. I guess you are running mad. Because I don't understand this. I don't understand this madness you call an obsession. All I'm saying is, I am in love with the princess of Aziza Kingdom. I mean, your friend Okoro is in love with the princess. That's all. My take is that you are not drinking that herba potion that I prepared for you. My guess is that you have it stuck under your bed. Get it for you hmm? to make you feel better. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Nduka. And who told you that I'm sick? I'm very much okay. As you can see, I'm strong. How many times will I have it driven into your head that you and Adigo can never be together, however hard you fantasize? And did I remind you that she is betrothed to Prince Ndukwe? The heir apparent to the throne of Anyama. Hmm. As you go close to her at your own period. I see. I told you my problem as a friend. Not for you to insult me or mock me. I just need you to support me. Listen, I am aware that the princess is betrothed to, to another. But I can't choose for whom my heart wants. My heart yearns for her. What do you understand? That's all. Even the gods can bear me with In the name of the gods. What rights have you to choose in this matter? What? There is a fine line between royalty and commoners. If I were you, I will learn my place. Whatever affection you have for Princess Adugo, you should kill it. Otherwise, it will kill you. This is for your own good. Oh, 
Okoro. Ah, Ijoma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, Ijoma. Ah, uh, Okoro. Is anything the matter? Oh no, not at all. No problem. You are a beautiful maiden. Thank you. You're welcome. You are handsome too. Mm, thank you too. Um, um, how is the princess? She's fine. Any message for her? No, 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 no. Not at all. No message for her. Um, um, I was thinking, I, I, I want you to come to my house tomorrow. I want us to discuss something. <clears throat> I will come. Okay. I will come. Okay, thank you. I'm expecting you. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, take care. Bye bye, Okoro. <laughs> Elders of our land. Igwe. I call for this emergency gathering because of the nightmare. Igwe, please tell us the truth. I was in dream last night. I saw one wicked beast eating up every member of this kingdom. I was the only one left. And when the beast Descended on me to eat me up. I just woke up. But what could be the meaning of this dream? I don't know. But I must find out the meaning of that part. God! Your Highness. Amen. I want you to summon as the wine. Tell her that her presence is needed at the palace immediately. Yes, Your Highness. Eyes of the gods. Go back to your king. Tell him I got his message. I will soon be with him. Go! I've heard what you said. Oh, go see a man. Imanam Benedini Dicket. 
Belediye Jamadike. My elders, I greet you. Igwe, you sent for me yesterday, but I couldn't come because I was communing with gods. Speak not! For what is bigger than the crickets has entered the cricket hole. The dream you had yesterday was not just a dream, but future. Future? Future? Yes, future. 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 A time shall come when this whole kingdom will sleep with one of their eyes open. And in the land of Uziza, the destiny of the princess will lie on the shoulder of a strange girl. As in why? I don't understand. So, what do we do? Caution. Caution, my king. You must be cautious of everything you do. This coconut is very sweet. Where did you pluck it from? You are the food. Eh? Oh, oh, oh. Was that one of your ways of saying thank you? Ah. But just come up boldly and say thank you to me now. When I said it was very sweet, but I'm not enough for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. That is what you want. Thank you. You are much welcome. Mm -hmm. Most welcome. Mm -hmm. Most welcome. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm happy now that you are back on track and you are no more thinking about the impossible. <laughs> Which one is the impossible one here now? <laughs> What's you doing here? Bring your voice down now. Bring your voice down. Show your house. Look, I invited her to come and see me. That's what she's saying. What does she talk about? <laughs> Hello, Wolo. Mm. Uh, uh, I greet you. You are welcome. Thank you. You are welcome, Ijoma. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, listen, just give us one minute. Excuse us for now. Ijoma, uh, uh, just come and sit down. Okay. Please sit. Thank you. You are welcome. The dress is lovely. Thank you. I hope it, it, John knows and yeah, it might. No, I'm okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I invited you to my house because I want you to have me talk to the princess. Better still, give me a clue on how to get her. Okay. Yes. You know, Princess Adobe is into pencil. They love each other very, very much. I'm sorry I can't help you. But, if I may suggest, you There are too many beautiful maidens in this kingdom who are willing to do anything just to have you with their own. Anything. Good job. Please. Can you just assist me? That's the only thing I ask from you. If this is why you called me, I am disappointed. I'm leaving. Uh, Ijoma, please. Help me out. That's the only thing I ask from you. I will do my best. Nduka, come back. Si me chunamo, si me chunamo, y mire, 
What is it? What is the matter? Ijoma, I've been observing you for a very long time. And you even force yourself to do things with us these days. What is the problem? My heart. My heart has sucked that the land they me into trouble. How do you mean? Did you do something bad? I'm, I'm in love with Oko. But I don't know how to tell him. I don't know how to tell him. I don't know how. I don't know. Ah, my dear, that is called good news. Yeah? See, loving someone is not a crime at all. All you need to do is let him know how you feel about him. Oh, I'm sure he will understand. Shut your mouth. What kind of friend are you, Choma? It's wrong for a woman to tell a man that she's in love with him. It's a taboo in our kingdom. Where is your pride as a woman? Ifoma, our friend is in love. And we need to help her out. By disgracing herself and letting Okoro know how shameless she can be. Enough! Enough! This does not call for insults. It doesn't. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> why would she even do a thing like that? She's so funny. I mean, why would you, why would you do a thing like that? Ijoma. Ijoma. Ijoma, why are you crying? Why is she crying? My friend has been like this for days now. And why is that so? Only her can tell. I can also tell. Ijoma is in love with Okoro, the great wrestler and pirate of all this kingdom. Wow. Well, that's a good thing. I mean, you should be happy. Why are you crying? Mm -hmm. That is because Ifoma here has refused buying the idea I suggested for her. Interesting. Now, what idea is that? Choma advised Ijoma to then wash the dirty linens outside. Dirty linens. What could that be? Okoro is not aware of Ijoma's feelings towards him. And Choma is insisting that Ijoma could tell Okoro. It's a taboo to do so. And you, Choma. How could you even think of a thing like that? Why would you advise her to do that? Patience is the only way. Each of my friend, stop crying. You know? Stop crying. Just be friends with him. I'm sure with time he will know your feelings for him. But don't you ever confess your love for him first. Do you understand? It's okay, Cheryl. It's mine. Princess. <laughs> mm. My handsome prince of Anioma Kingdom. It's so good to have you. Here. Thank you, my princess. Can I tell you that's good? Okay. Call you. Ah, you know me. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, that was scary. Oh. Mm. Look at my eyes. Okay. There's something I want to tell you. Okay. You are so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> oh. For real. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. So, let's play games now. So, what is happening? I'll catch you again. Sure. Now, what the fuck is it? Oh, baby. Baby. Ah! You beat it. Yeah! Oh, my God. Oh, this is coming. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Ah! Yeah. And my father was so glad to have you as a friend. Your Highness. Your Highness. Yo, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, let's go. Father, so happy. How romantic. Isn't that your heart robe and her Prince Charming parading the grounds of Ozisa Kingdom? Such public show of affection reminds me of two Eneke birds on the Iroko tree. And what's your problem? Look, Nduka, I think we should be on our way. Okoro, you summoned Ijoma to the house the other time. For what reasons, if I may ask? Don't tell me it's it is what I'm thinking. And what on earth are you thinking? I think you're trying to befriend too. I need that remind you of the dangers of such infractions. I have eyes on Ijoma for myself. Look at my friend. You and I know that I cannot and will not have any feelings for each other. Just saying. So you should be thinking so. In fact, in recent times, I'm beginning to think that you take a whole jar of palm wine before starting your day. Yes, I think I should be leaving. Okoro, you are walking out on me. Come back here, Okoro. We must finish this. Ijoma, you are my friend and my sister. There is no harm in fire. Talking to the man you love is not a crime. It's only called talking to me and not say this again. Please stop. Stop. You and I know it's wrong. For a maiden to ask a young man out. Hmm? I still have my pride and respect as a woman. I can't. Ijoma, what if Okoro never looks away? What if he goes for someone else? What will you do? Die in silence. Hmm. No, no, never. I can never let that happen. It is mine. I'm not hers. Excuse me. And who are you referring to? Oko is in love with Princess Adugo. Without her knowledge, he asked me to talk to her on his behalf. You see? This is a great opportunity. Grab it now. Grab it with your both hands. See? Princess has been seen the way already. And now, Okoro. Hmm? Unless you want to let her have all the handsome men in this kingdom, then you can let Okoro go. Ah, may the gods forbid. Not my Okoro. Not my Okoro. Then do something. You're up. You're supposed to be sleeping. My princess, sleep refused to come. And you, 
I, I was pressed. So I had to take this myself. Without the gas. Your father, that makes the two of us. I have to use this place. Don't tell me you have been sleeping. Huh? Is this how you intend to make a bumper sale? By sleeping from sunrise to sundown? Just look at you, you're becoming very useless to yourself. Sometimes I doubt if you're still Yokuru, my good friend. The finest wrestler this land has ever known. Nduka, let's go to the wrestling ground and come find when you see your fellow man in the morning. At least say good morning. Not those rubbish words you're saying. Huh? I will knock every bone in your body to pieces before you have the chance to land my back on the ground. <laughs> you're still talking about good morning. Yeah. You're talking about greeting. My friend, you're coming with me. Let's go and collect the money our debtors owe us. Uh, no. <laughs> Truth is, I'm, I'm sick. My dead gas has been pounding me since yesterday. I, you know what? Just go and collect the money. I will come to your house later. Honestly, I, I need some rest. Okay. I will go and collect the money. Don't you stay back and take the medications I prepared for you. Hmm? Don't come asking for your share. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Take care. I'll see you later. Good day. How are you? I'm fine. Where are you rushing to? Um, I'm on my way to your house. Oh, actually, I was uh, going to my friend's house in Duka. But since we're coming, let's go in together. No, no, no. Um, okay. We can discuss here. It's about what you asked me to do. Uh -huh, yeah. I have good news. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Does she like me too? Yes, she does. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not the pieces, but me. You? I don't understand. Guru. I, I love you. Get the pieces. She is betrothed. To prison the queen. She will never love you. Okoro, open your heart for me. Give an daughter. You will love me. You should be ashamed of yourself. How can a woman come to a man confessing love to him? Of all men, I, Okoro, where is your pride? Where is your dignity? Have you lost it? No, answer me. Have you lost it? From now onwards, I cease to see you around. Thank you. No, no, Okoro. Okoro, please, try and understand. Can't you see I'm in love with you? Please don't leave me. You are not me. <laughs> don't touch me. You shameless woman. Look. Pray to the gods. No one had seen what you had done. Or even hear it. Oh God, please don't go! Oh God, please! Uh, 
Ah. Uh -huh. Papa. Uh, Ify, you are back. Yes, Papa. Very good. <coughs> I've been expecting you. What is there? Papa is alcohol. Apple. Yes, Papa. Very good. Go inside. Rest a little. Use it to prepare Ofa Aku so we can eat. But Papa, this apple is for the princess. I want to prepare it for the princess. When I return from the palace, I will make a very special one for us. It's okay, my daughter. It's okay. Uh, but you will make it fast. Please, I'll be waiting for you. Okay, Papa, I will stay long. I will be back. Hello, my friend. <laughs> I see. You want food? Can I do? <laughs> this is your face. Mm. I have known this face since we were boys. <laughs> I must be really stupid not to notice that something is wrong. Tell me. In fact, <clears throat> come and see now. Mm? Okay. Thank you. Ah. Some not? Oh. You once asked me why I invited him to my house. No, but you refused telling me. <laughs> so I gave up asking. Huh. Actually, I invited her to my house to discuss with her about she talking to the princess or my dear. Ah, princess Adelko. I just wanted her to talk to her my dear. That's all. Well, how did it go? Her time with the princess proved effective, did it not? Do you know that on my way to your peace, I met a job on the road? What did she say? Do you know what she did? Ijoma went on her knees before me, asking me to forget about the princess. Is it the rays of the sun that is making you think like this? Or perhaps you have not been taking the medicine that I prepared for you. You just sit down. I'll go and get it for you. <laughs> you just my nails down. What kind of a human being is this? Are you who I am does not matter at this moment. Then what do you want from me? Nothing. I want nothing from you. You are destined to save a land, and I am destined to take you to that land. Let's go, we have no time. But I'm so hungry. You just spoiled my plans of eating yam. Now you have quenched my fire. What will I eat? I can't go any further if I do not eat. I am so hungry.
this kingdom. Why? The dream our Igwe had is still running through my mind. I said that is not enough. Is in why made it clear about the danger I was soon before this land. You know this time. Ibe, Ibe. But that does not call for running away now. Eh? The Igwe only had a dream which is the one asks us to be careful about. That's all. Is that why you are running away? <laughs> hey. Yes. I I'm being careful. And that is why I'm leaving. Before everything will come to reality. I will come back when everything normalizes. Okay, okay. Okay. Ibe, you are a coward. Thank you. Equidike. Yes, Your Highness. Yes, Your Highness. Go and fetch me, Mazokeke. Tell him that he's needed at the palace immediately. Yes, Your Highness. Your will is my command. Sorry about the embarrassment the other day. It's okay. No problem. We're fine. It's clear to me now that you love my my friend, Princess Adugo. I have spoken to her about you. Really? Yes. Oh. So what did she say? She's waiting for you at Usisoma Bush. <laughs> now? Yes. Uh, at uh, Usisoma Bush, right? Yes, but she wanted to come alone. Of course, I'm good with that. She's waiting now, so you can hurry up and. Okay, right now, right? Yes. Thank you, eh? Bye bye. Take care, bye bye. Rest here for a while. Thank you. As if you knew. I have been working for so long, yet I have not gotten to that kingdom. Prophecy is prophecy, and prophecy must be fulfilled. When the time comes, we will soon read the kingdom of Azizel. 
What's your name? Or oh, don't you have a name? How old are you? Name and age are history in my generation. Oh, you're just a small girl. Never mind. Can I sleep here? Sure. Princess. I'm waiting for you, my lord. Are you insane? No, I'm not. Come on, Uncle. You know I love you. It's all my heart. I have loved you from the very start. See, I know I know you want to see the princess. I will let you stay on one condition. Which is? Okay. okay. Make love to me. Here and now. No! Yes! yes. Make love to me. No. Are you, are you out of your mind? No, I'm not. I'm not out of my mind. I love you. Can't you see? Make love to me. No, 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 no. Look, look. I'm out of here. No, look, look. No, I'm out of here. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. What don't you understand? <laughs> After you. There is fire on the mountain. Which mountain? My sister, Okoro was caught raping in German in Osioma bush. As I speak with you now, they are on their way to the palace. How did it happen? You can Ne. Ne. If I were you, you will join me to the palace and here and see things yourself. Have one more. Ijoma, tell us. What happened? Your Highness, I was fishing firewood. When I finished, I needed somebody to help me. <laughs> then I saw Okoro. I asked him to help me lift my firewood. 
He was looking at my breast. Hey! Hey! Oh, oh, I, I called him again. Okoro, oh, please help me lift my firewood. Before I know it, he grabs me hey, and hey. throws me on the ground. Hey. He rapes me. Okoro, what did you see, man? That's not true, Your Majesty. That's not true. She's lying. I confessed my feelings to her about the princess. And she promised to help me. Days after, she, she, she asked me to meet her at Osisioma Bush. When I went there, she, she started seducing me. I, 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 before I, 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 Your Majesty, I. I did nothing, Your Majesty. I did not do anything. Will you shut up, Your Majesty? Will you shut up your mouth? I said, shut up your mouth, young man. You are a brave man. You are the best power tapper in this community. You are also the greatest wrestler of this kingdom. Why should you allow the pleasure in a woman to pull you down? Why? Is the wine? What do we do to him? Hmm? Mbeledori mado Your Highness, the gods are silent. Hmm. Esolomu ndemo gomili amana asa. Esolomu ndemo gomili amana asa. Why were the gods silent in this matter? Does it mean that the gods? We are asleep when this happened. How dare you question the gods? Uh, but if we do not ask questions, then what do we do? Hmm. Gas! Yes, Your Highness. Take him away. Tie him. After the sunset, if the gods are still silent, we will treat him according to our customs and traditions. Yes, Take him away! Alright, let's go. Your Highness, have you nothing? My king! Your Highness! My good king! Please! We all know, Koro. I don't think he's capable of rape! Yeah. Yes, Your Highness. Please, I beseech you, show him clemency! Do not condemn him to the evil forest! Young man! That's our customs and tradition. <laughs> Let her be. That's our customs and traditions. Yes, Your Highness. Onu lila nu dele liga ja nu. Hmm. Oge luwa mani ga do wa gu nu. Eze wa ni wa bula gu je bendi mu. Hmm. Ane bua gu je bendi mu umban. Makano gu te bula gu je ni men mini. Oh ganaro. Ukwaroge ya nu wa. Ya dazie. The great is the one that travels to the land of the dead. The great are but a wine that commune with the spirits. I greet you. Mm. It's only a slave that says the truth and ties his tongue in silence. 
The great is one. Why have you remained silent? Why have you refused to talk? Why have you refused to say something in this matter? Is Okoro the great wrestler responsible for what he has been accused of? Hmm? Say something. Great is the one you say something. Say something. Between Okoro and Ijoma who is lying. Say something. Say something great as a way and reveal this great misery to the puzzle. The prophecy. The prophecy. The prophecy. The prophecy must come to far. Ha 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 This one your face is like this. Are you okay? Chama. Hmm? Do you believe everything that Ijama said over here? <laughs> My dear, I do. I so much believe her. Eh? Who would have believed that Okoro is a rapist? Ha! Men are wicked. Devils at night. Pretending to be angels by day. Eh? Don't forget. Okoro does not even know that Ijoma exists. It was the other way round. Ijoma was the one who needed Okoro. Okoro was only in love with Princess Adugo. My dear, forget that. Forget it! If he were not her secret admirer, then how come he raped Ijoma? Eh? See, Okoro is a rapist. Wait, oh. don't tell me you trust Okoro. I don't know. All I know is that something is wrong somewhere. I'm not judging, not concluding. But seriously, I don't believe the lies Ijoma made out out there. Ijoma has always been the desperate type. And you know it. My dear, all I know is that Okoro is a rapist. And the ghost confirmed it. The ghost confirmed nothing. The gods are yet to speak. Excuse me. <laughs> what is wrong with her? Or is she also in love with Okoro? <laughs> How can... Love and feelings revolve around my friend, Mitokoro. Ijoma, tell me the truth. Did Okoro do all those things you accused him of? Yes. He raped me. He forced himself on me. Oh, did he? He did, yes. Well, somehow I do not believe you. Okoro is by far an honorable man. There is no way he could have stood so low. There is no way he could have condescended to commit such an abominable act with you. Perhaps you were daydreaming when you saw the things you claimed you saw. The same question brought me to your house, Ijoma. You are my friend. I know you too. I know what you are capable of. And those looks on your eyes is telling me that you are lying. I don't believe anything you said it happens in Bosisoma Forest. Does, Does it look like I care? Hmm? Does it look like I care? Okoro can burn in hell. He deserved what he got. As for you two, when you don't stand in like fools, the road is wide open. Jump into it and dream. Why, Ifoma? Why are you hell-bent in destroying a man whom has done you no wrong? Ijoma, from this day on, you cease to be my friend. What you saw, Oh, you will definitely reap what you saw. Get out! Get out! Go 
cause of our land. Why is all this befalling us? Why must it be a cause of all? Is this all about the true my heart? Why are you sad? Why? The ways of the gods are mysterious. But Father, I know you can still change the custom and tradition of this kingdom. I mean, why are the ghosts silent whenever someone is accused of rape and murder? Why? My daughter, I don't know. And I cannot change the custom and tradition of your land. But Father, you are the lawmaker of this kingdom. I know there's something you can do about this. Come to the point, Mokopa is a man we all know in the history of Ozizan Kingdom. Father, with no sin that. Have you ever heard of any bad name this generation has put into this kingdom? My daughter, I understand your point. I am as confused as you are. There's nothing we can do about that. Whenever the girls are silent in a matter like this, that means they're in support of our customs and traditions. So that's nothing I can do about that. Ijoma, what really happened at Osioma Bush yesterday? See, tell me the truth. It's just the both of us here. Did Okoro actually rape you? I was passing and see um I I was fishing for a wood. I never knew he was there looking at me. Before I knew it, he was all over me. Okay. It's okay. I believe you, my friend. I believe you. All thanks to the girls that you are okay. Hmm. Okoro. Okoro. Nemesis has caught up with you. It's okay, my friend. Your constant loss in thought is becoming a problem to me. Huh? What is all this? You are merely a shade of your former self. What is troubling you? A problem shared is one half solved. You will tell me what the problem is and we will settle this. Look at The thought of Princess Adobe is gradually killing me. I mean, I'm, I'm gradually turning to a madman. Oh, yes, you are running mad. Because I don't understand this. I don't understand this madness you call an obsession. All I'm saying is, I am in love with the princess of Uziza Kingdom. I mean, your friend Okoro is in love with the princess. That's all. My take is that you are not drinking that herba potion that I prepared for you. My guess is that you have it stuck under your bed. Get it for you hmm? to make you feel better. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Nduka. And who told you that I'm sick? I'm very much okay. As you can see, I'm strong. How many times will I have it driven into your head that you and Adigo can never be together, however hard you fantasize? And did I remind you that she is betrothed to Prince Ndukwe? The heir apparent to the throne of Anyama. Hmm. As you go close to her at your own peril. I see. I told you my problem as a friend. Not for you to insult me or mock me. I just need you to support me. Listen, I am aware that the princess is betrothed to another. But I can't choose for whom my heart wants. 
My heart yearns for her. But do you understand? That's all. Even the gods can bear me witness. In the name of the gods! What rights have you to choose in this matter? What? There is a fine line between royalty and commoners. If I were you, I will learn my place. Whatever affection you have for Princess Adugu, you should kill it. Otherwise, it will kill you. <laughs> this is for your own good. Food. <laughs> eh? oh, oh, oh. Was that one of your ways of saying thank you? Ah. But just come up boldly and say thank you to me now. When I said it was very sweet, was that not enough for you? Mm. Okay, thank you. That is what you want. Thank you. You are most welcome. Mm -hmm. Most welcome. Mm -hmm. Most welcome. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm happy now that you are back on track and you are no more thinking about the impossible. Which one is the impossible one here now? <laughs> What's the one doing here? Bring your voice down now. Bring your voice down. She'll hear us. Look, I invited her to come and see me. That's why she's here. What does she talk about? I am tired of all this. I am so hungry and thirsty. Is there any other means of getting to that kingdom? No. Take. You said you are hungry. Listen to me. I am tired of collecting food from you. I mean, each time I complain. Little one. I am tired of this same story of we are getting close to that kingdom. I am tired. Hold my hands. What for? You just gave away my food now and you are asking me to hold your hands? No way. You want to get to the kingdom of Aziza, right? Yes. Yes. Hold my hands. People of our sister kingdom, I greet you. We all know the punishment for anybody caught in the act of rape in this kingdom. This young man here by name Okoro, who has made this kingdom proud, has brought calamity to this kingdom. Okoro, henceforth, you cease to be a son of the sun. And you are hereby punished from this kingdom. Okoro, the son of Udoka, the great hunter, as far as this kingdom is concerned, is now a history. Okoro bi ana be gedege. Mhm. O ma kwa ne gedege be gumili. Mhm. Okoro bi ana be gedege.
When are you coming to take your wife? Your Highness. Soon, Father. You know, I still need to discuss with my father, the king, about it. You are right. I am very happy that the friendship of these two families 
is getting to another level. <sighs> Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you so much. Um, Your Highness, honestly, I love your daughter, Princess Adugo, so much. I, I can't wait to, to make her mine forever. You have my blessings. Oh, thank you, Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. You're welcome. Thank you. Say me well to your father. All right, Your Highness. Um, my regards to Princess too, if she comes back. She will hear. I wish you all the best. Thank you, Your Highness. This is the entrance to Aziza Kingdom. The destiny of this village lies on your shoulder. But how do I know whom the princess is? Where do I start from? And how will she know it's me? You worry a lot. Don't worry. Everything is under control. Just do not let anyone know you have a power or you are going to be killed. I understand. I understand. Give me your hand. Good luck. You know where to find me whenever you need. Thank you so much. Why did it not occur to me that this is not of your tribe? None that Okura has been banished. I don't know. The ghosts were silent over that. Why should we be the one to break the silence? I'm just worried. I am just worried. Don't worry for the kingdom. Worry for yourself. Let's go. Let's go and fetch what is getting you. Greetings. Clean her up and take her with me. Yes, my princess. And you said the crow left you. You see? You see why Yifoma never trusted or believed you? Ah, I'm so disappointed at you, Ijoma. I'm very disappointed at you, Ijoma. You forget. See, don't come close to me. Choma. Choma, you're so good to that now. Choma! What village are you from? I am a former. I am from Ezi village. My parents were killed over a piece of land by Ezi warriors. So, I ran out of the village to save my life. Please. 
Let me stay here. I promise to do whatever you want me to do. Please, get up. Don't worry. From today, you'll be my personal maid. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much. I promise to protect you with my life. Mm. Your life? My princess. What about me? <laughs> Don't worry, you are still my chief maid, okay? But she, she's out of service and order. Do I make myself clear?
Just last night, I came out to receive fresh air. Behold, the same evil beast was eating up one of my gas. Hey! Hello, man. Mm -hmm. I nearly escaped. Mm. Otherwise, I would have been a victim by now. Oh. Is that why my goat is missing? I got up this morning and found out that one of my goat is missing. There was blood everywhere around my house. There is a problem in the land. Igwe, what do we do? What do we do to her? Igwe! Igwe! Woman! What is it? My child is missing! I must see my daughter since last night! Igwe! Gas! Your Highness! Go and fetch me as a wife immediately. Yes, sir. Let her boss her! Let her boss her! Hey! Hello, man. Your Highness, a river cannot flow through the forest without bringing down trees. A child who dances the dance of Surugene does not know that Surugene is a dance of the spirits. Hmm. Evil. Evil has befallen this great land of Uziza. And we must offer sacrifices. Your Highness, we must offer sacrifices to appease the gods. We must offer sacrifices to appease the gods. I want to
Ijo. Ah, Okoro. Is anything the matter? Oh no, not at all. No problem. You're a beautiful maiden. Thank you. You're welcome. You're handsome too. Mm, thank you too. Um, um, how is the princess? She's fine. Any message for her? No, uh, no, no, no. Not at all. No message for her. Um, um I was thinking. I, I, I want you to come to my house tomorrow. I want us to discuss something. I will come. Okay. I will come. Okay, thank you. I'm expecting you. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, take care. Bye bye, Okoro. Uh -huh, bye. <laughs> uh, Luka, I greet you. You are welcome. Thank you. You are welcome, Ijoma. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, listen, just give us one minute. Excuse us for now. Uh, it's over. Uh, just come and sit down. Okay. Please sit. Thank you. You're welcome. The dress is lovely. Thank you. Oh, it, it, John knows I'm here. Yeah, it's nice. No, I'm not at the Thank you. I think it's fine. I might come to my house because I want you. To help me talk to the princess. Better still, give me a clue on how to get her. Okay. Yeah. You know, Princess Abuko is a little person. They love each other very much. Very much. I'm sorry I can't help you. But, if I may suggest, Many beautiful medals in this kingdom who are willing to do anything just to have you look down. Anything. John, please. Can you just assist me? That's the only thing I ask from you. If this is why you called me, I am disappointed. I'm leaving. Ijoma, please. Help me out. That's the only thing I ask for you. What you ask me to do? Uh -huh, and, uh, I have good news. Wow! Oh, oh, oh. Does she like me too? Yes, she does. Oh, wow! Not the princess, but me. You? I don't understand. Guru. I love you. Get the princess. She is betrothed to Prince Lukwe. She will never love you. Okoro, open your heart for me. Kifunam Doto. You will love me even more. You should be ashamed of yourself. How can a woman come to a man confessing love to him? Sorry about the embarrassment the other day. It's okay. No problem. We're fine. It's clear to me now that you love my my friend. 
Princess Adogo. I have spoken to her about you. Really? Yes. Oh, oh. So what did she say? She's waiting for you at the summer bush. <laughs> now? Yes. Uh, at uh, the summer bush, right? Yes, but she wanted to come alone. <laughs> of course. I'm good with that. She's waiting now, so you can hurry up and... Okay. Right now, right? Yes. Thank you, eh? Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Uh, you're here alone now. Where's the princess? I'm waiting for you, my lord. Are you insane? No, I'm not. I'm not. Come on, Uko. You know I love you. With all my heart. I have loved you from the very start. So, I know I know you want to see the princess. But I will let you see her on one condition. Which is? No! Yes! yes! Are you are you out of your mind? No, I'm not. I'm not out of my mind. I love you. Can't you see? Make love to me. No, but look, look, look. look, look. I'm out of here. No, look, look. No, no, so fast! Oh, not so fast. Firewood. When I finished, I needed somebody to help me. <laughs> then I saw Okoro. I asked him to help me lift my firewood. He was looking at my breast. Hey! Hey! I called him. Okoro, please help me lift my firewood. Before I knew it, he grabs me. Hey, hey. And trust me on the ground. <laughs> he raped me. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. That's not true, Your Majesty. That's not true. She's lying. He confessed my feelings to her about the princess. And she promised to help me. Days after, she, she, she asked me to meet her at Osisio Mabush. Hey. When I went there, she started seducing me. I, I, before I, 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 Your Majesty, I, I did nothing, Your Majesty. I did not do anything. Shut up, Your Majesty. Shut up, Your Majesty. I said, shut up, Your Majesty, young man. You're a brave man. You are the best power tapper in this community. You're also the greatest wrestler of this kingdom. Why should you allow? The pleasure in a woman to pull you down. Why? Is it why? What do we do to him? Hmm? Beledori madori madori mado. Beledori mado. Eze wani dori mado. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
Mele do ri ma do ri ma do ri ma do. Your Highness, the gods are silent. Hmm. Eso lo munde mo, wo mili amana asa. Eso lo munde mo, wo mili amana asa. Why were the gods silent in this matter? Does it mean that the gods were asleep when this happened? How dare you question the gods? But if we do not ask questions, then what do we do? Hmm. Gas. Yes, your highness. Take him away. Tie him. After the sunset, if the gods are still silent. We will treat him according to our customs and tradition. Yes, Take sir. him away! Right, let's go! Your Highness, I'm innocent! My King! Your Highness! My good King! Please! We all know, Koro. I don't think he's capable of rape! Yes, Your Highness. Please, I beseech you, show him clemency! Do not condemn him to the evil forest! Young man! That's our customs and tradition. <laughs> That's our customs and traditions. Whoa. I asked you several, and you said no crow left you. You see? You see why Ifoma never trusted or believed you? I'm so disappointed at you, Joma. I'm very disappointed at you, Joma. Have you heard a rumor of a beast killing people in this kingdom? Yes, so my sister, I heard the beast killed Ijoma last night on her way back from the farm with Nduka. But Nduka was with Ijoma. How come the beast spelled Nduka? Maybe Nduka escaped. I think the beast knows Nduka. That is the more reason why he spared his life. I don't, I don't know. All I know is that this kingdom is no longer safe for, for us. I better go to my maternal home before I become the next in line. I hey. will follow you. Elders of our land. Igwe. This is why I had given us just four days to provide an antelope with one eye for the purification of our land so that the evil beast that has been hunting our land will stop. Your Highness. I suggest we send our warriors to go in search of the enter. Warriors? Yes. Mazio uh, Kike, this has nothing to do with uh, our warriors. Uh, all we need to do is to summon our hunters and tell them that any of them that brings the antelope with one eye before the next Ekema Kebde will be given an award. I support you. Hmm. Ichebe, you have a point there. We shall do according to your word. Because the sacrifice must be carried out. We must sacrifice to the gods of our land. Send for me, a former. How may I be at your service? The great one. A beast is 
killing people in the land. And the God demands the eye of an antelope for the sacrifice. But that is not going to be the solution to the problem. But the king has requested for the hunters to go in search for it. The journey starts tomorrow. And the princess insists on going with them. What do you want? So, how do we get the antelope? When you get to the forest of Amozara, use your magic. It will locate you to an antelope. always been my wish to make you proud. You mean going to Amo is a forest to die is the only way you feel you can make me proud? No. Papa, don't say a thing like this. This is the only favor I'm seeking from you. Please let me go. I will return. I am not comfortable. I'm not comfortable at all. No. What in God's name are you doing here, Princess? There will be one if you insist on going with the hunters in search of the one I intend. But father... No but. There has never been in the history of this kingdom that a princess went in search of anything in Amazon forest. That forest is deadly and you cannot go. That's the reason I should go father. There's always a first time for everything. Father... Those hunters are people's children. They also have home and family. It was also a difficult decision for their parents to make, allowing them to go to the forest knowing that this is dangerous. But they let them go. Father, I beg you, for the sake of this land, and for the sake of the innocent children the beast has eaten, let me go. Please. Are you really sure about this? Yes, I am sure. I mean you can have a think over it. My mind is made up. <laughs> I heard you are a good hunter. But no but. My mind is made up on this. Very well then. I am going with you. What did you just say? You heard me. It is my duty to protect you. Since you have decided to go on this journey, I'm going with you. <laughs> Mrs. Protector, so tell me, what if a ghost come to hurt us? What will you do? Fight them, of course. <laughs> ah, hmm. Afama, please, I'm not with you, Shan. This. Afama, please, I'm not ready for your jokes. I'm not in the mood for jokes right now. Your duty in this palace is to make sure I sleep, eat, and rest. So you stay back here and do that, okay? I am going to get ready, for tomorrow is the day. Very well then. Suit yourself. You are responsible for your own actions. and warriors of our kingdom. We... Are you set for the mission? Yes, sir. Where is Ichaka? Igwe. Ichaka will join us at the shrine. It's okay. I want to thank you on behalf of the entire kingdom and my very self for accepting to carry out this great <laughs> task. 
That shows that we have warriors and youth in this kingdom. And I want you to know, it's not going to be an easy task. The task is very deadly. But you don't need to be afraid. Because there's a wine we fortify all of you. You will go in peace. You will come back in peace. May the gods of our land protect you. The gods of our land will take you safely. You will come back with victory. My father, don't worry. We will be fine. We shall go and we shall return back safely. My love. My prince. Be careful. Just be careful. I will be waiting for your return. Thank you, my prince. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 
Mama, why are you stopping? I am so tired at home. I am so weak. What did I tell you at the palace? That I'm responsible for my actions. Good. Now get going. But I'm tired. I need to eat something. Afama, why are you the only one complaining about being tired? Wait. Did you eat the kulama? Come here. Now take it and eat it. Even if I tell you take this, it won't work. And how do you know it will work? Because my father said that if you do not take it kula when given to you, it won't work. I'm tired of this nonsense. You know what? Climb on my back and take you. You're my friend. Let me do that. Uh, Your Highness, you just have to put yourself together. Put yourself together. How can I? When the apple of my eyes has gone to a journal of no return. What if they don't come back? 
What if they fail to come with an eye of antelope? I have a feeling that all is not well. Your Highness, Princess Adugo is a strong woman. She's a very strong woman. I mean, you raised her to be powerful and fearless. She will return. They will all return with the eye of an antelope. This whole thing we are talking about will become history. I hope so. We have just two days. Yes, everything will not be the same again. Daughter, I should help you, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, my daughter. Papa. I wonder what I would have done without you. It's nothing, Papa. I'm happy doing the things I do here. Ifoma is my very good friend. I know. And since she's not around, let me help out. Thank you very much. That reminds me, Papa. Will they ever return? Hmm. My daughter. I don't know. You see, I only hope and pray to the gods. Let them come back with the eye of an antelope. That has been my prayers. I hope they are safe. I hope so too, my daughter. Ifoma. Ifoma. Please, my daughter. Mm, uh, please, thank you very much. Please help me. Kili kili kane kili ododo manane chi ododo eli uzu 